I can't imagine how you're feeling about tonight. I imagine it comes with Weird. great mixed feelings yeah. that she's nominated. Mm. It, it is. I mean, the, we only found out that the qualifications to be nominated for a Brit is you've got to be in the top 40 last year. Um, so we have Jess Glynn, who's actually an ambassador of the foundation. She's a great kid. Uh, we've got Adele. I'm not sure who the other one is. And we've got Amy. And, um, you know, at least she's being nominated for her music, mm. uh, for the soundtrack from the film, so that's quite positive. And it just shows you that, uh, you know, Amy's still up for awards even five years after her passing. Although you've said you hope she doesn't win. Yeah, maybe that was... A, yeah, because it's as a result of the film, the soundtrack of the film, um, you know, by all, by all really, uh, Adele should win it hands down, shouldn't she? Mm. But I'm not sure how people win the Brit Awards. I don't know whether it's on number of albums sold. I haven't got a clue. You have been scathing and continue to be scathing about the movie. Mm. And, uh, and no point are you softening your, uh, your position. No, I mean, to be honest with you, I'm getting sick of the sound of my own voice. And, you know, what we've achieved with, hopefully, we'll talk about the foundation. We haven't done that from a position of negativity. We've been very positive about what we needed to do. And I hate being negative about anything. You know, but, frankly, the movie is a sham. Well, it seems that it wasn't so much about what, they, what was in the movie, it was what the movie left out. Exactly. It's, apart from the fact that they changed the words that I said, but I want to leave my bit out of it. They left stuff out. Lots of stuff out. You know, funnily enough, I was just talking while we were off air. I was with Dion, who was Amy's goddaughter, at the beautiful musical last night. Just by pure chance, she was sitting behind me. We were talking about all this stuff. And she went in, she did six hours of interviews. And as the interview became more... Uh, the, the, interview, the interview became more aggressive. What was her relationship really like with her dad? And she said, well, fine, it was great, they were wonderful. What was her relationship like with her family? Fine. You know, and all of that stuff was just omitted. So anybody who was any part of Amy's life in the last three or four years, it's not in the film, Reg, her boyfriend, you know, he was instrumental in, in making sure that she stayed off of alcohol, uh, of drugs, I beg your pardon. I mean, people don't realise after seeing that film, they still think she died of a drugs overdose. Mm. What kind of a film is it that leaves people in doubt how she died? Uh, no mention of the fact she was clear of drugs for three years. What? That's not a, a, a historical document. What happens if, because it's nominated for an Oscar, and you don't think she's going to get the Brit tonight, you think no, Adele's going to get No, I think so. That. Well, we haven't but been she... invited, which means... You haven't been invited because no. you, you'll probably kick off on the red carpet. That's right. Um, <laughs> what about the Oscars? Because there's a very, very big chance that it could win, it, win an Oscar. Well, it will, but of course it won't be an Oscar for her. It will be an Oscar to the, you know, producers and... But isn't there a danger that, that this, because it gets bigger and bigger and bigger, that yeah. this becomes the defining very illustration of yeah. her? Yeah. I'm not saying there were periods of great difficulty in that three okay. years, and there were. But there were also periods of great joy and love and celebration. I just did five shows in Brazil. I came back from five shows in Brazil. And I thought, after they saw the Amy film in Brazil, they're going to kill me. They, you know, they don't mess about in Brazil. They all love me, they love Amy, and they all said the same thing. Where were the shows that she did in 2010 and 2011 in Brazil? Um, her manager, Ray, would phone me up from a venue and say, listen to this, she's playing in football stadiums, and you can hear them like a, like, like a football crowd going, Amy, 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 ignored in the film. So you're going to make your own? You're going you're gonna to do another version? We are moving towards... Uh, Let's not call it a film, although it will probably end up as a film. Working with people, it's a project called A Letter to Amy. We've just come back from Brazil. Uh, we just, uh, we're working on a project in Brazil, in the favelas, in the slums. Amy loved Brazil. So we're working with a project called Afro Reggae. Back home here, you've got the Resilience Programme. The Resilience Programme in the last two years, which is a school programme, uh, we have spoken to 140,000 kids, uh, not only about the dangers of alcohol and drugs, other stuff that affect young people today. So while they're busy getting slapped on the back and winning awards, we're busy helping young kids in Amy's name. What would she say if, um, if she could... Of course, obviously, if she was still here, none of this would have ever happened. But no. if she could, uh, say, give her opinion on all this, what would she say? Well, that's a very good question. She wouldn't be happy about the film because she would not want... Well, she wouldn't have been happy about a film being made about her anyway if she was still alive. There wouldn't have been any need for it. But she wouldn't want her father portrayed in that way and her friends and her, fam her family and friends basically ignored. She would be very unhappy about that. Uh, Mitch, thank you for coming yes, in. Absolute thank pleasure. The Brits are tonight at, uh, at 8 uh, on ITV and, uh, and we can always be enormously grateful and thankful that we've still got the music, which is yeah. untainted. We have.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.